Welcome to Kids Church Online. Today we're gonna to get to enjoy another one of Jesus' parables right after worship. And a parable is a story with a message. And Jesus was a great storyteller. So enjoy the worship, the parable, and of course, the silly stuff. Oh, oh, hey guys, I was just reading in 1 Corinthians 13, but where it says love is patient, love is kind, and then it says love does not envy and does not boast. And I had to think about that word envy for a minute. Do you ever stop and think about words that are in the Bible? The word envy means that you get upset about wanting something that someone else has. Now, of course, we all want things, but it turns to envy when we get bitter about wanting those things. Why does she get the better chair? I wanted it. It's no fair. I never get nothing. And why does he get the bigger piece? Everyone knows that's my favorite kind, and still I get the smallest piece. What's with that? Might as well just starve already. Lots of things I want, but everybody gets theirs first. They get the best. They get the biggest. They get it longer, and I just get nothing. Nothing. They get the best. Ew, that was not love. Love does not envy. Love is not about me, 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 and what I want. Love knows that people are more important than things. Let's see this in action. Wow, that's a very different attitude from the one we heard before. And why does he get the bigger piece? And I just get nothing. Love does not envy. It doesn't get stuck on wanting what others have. In fact, love is even happy when other people get good things. There's actually a Bible story that tells us about this. It's in a story that Jesus told called a parable. And Jesus said, when someone invites you to a feast, don't take the best seat. Don't take the most important or the best seat because someone more important than you may have been invited. The host who invited both of you will come to you and say, give this person your seat. Then you'll be embarrassed and you'll have to move to the last place. Oh boy, that first guy came in and he just wanted to be the best. He wanted to look important. And that's what Envy does. Envy wants the best. Envy wants to be the best instead of being grateful. Why does she get the better chair? I do not want Envy in my heart. I want God's love to fill my heart. And we only get that kind of love from Jesus. So now is a good time to pray. Envy is about wanting stuff and getting bitter when we don't get it. Now we do want a lot of things and it's okay to ask for stuff. We can ask Jesus, we can ask our parents, we can ask others, but it becomes a problem when we get bitter in not getting what we want, then it's called envy. What about you? Do you have a favorite seat in the living room or the car? We're each gonna draw our favorite seat and then draw your brother or sister sitting on it because we love our brothers and sisters even more than the best seat. And I'm sure after you've drawn it, they're gonna wanna see it. Thank you. 
Jesus, thank you for showing us about envy. Help me to love the people in my life more than the things in my life. Amen. I love his patient, love is kind, does not envy, does not boast. Oh, hey guys. I was just trying to memorize 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Maybe some of you know it already. So we've talked about how love is patient and kind, it does not envy. The next part is that love does not boast. And boasting is kind of another way of saying bragging. You know, bragging about yourself. We're all good at different things, we all have different gifts, but it turns to boasting when we think we are more important than everyone else. I'm more important than everyone. I'm really good at everything. I'm the best. I'm the fastest. I'm the strongest. I'm the smartest. I deserve the best. I'm better than you. I deserve the best. The best chair. The most important place. I should get to talk first. Cause I'm awesome. I'm better than you. No one is better than me. I am the best me. It's all about me. E, love does not boast. It doesn't get stuck on just me, me, me. Love looks to others and not just myself. Let's see this in action. I'm happy we're coming together. Wow, that's a very different attitude from the one that we heard before. I'm more important. I'm the best. It's all about me. Wow, love does not boast. It doesn't get stuck on me, 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 and how much better I am than everyone else. Instead, love thinks about how others feel and says kind words to them. Our same Bible story that we were talking about actually talks about this too. When someone invites you to a feast, don't take the most important seat. Did you see how he was looking for the most important chair? He didn't care about honoring others. He just wanted to look most important in other people's eyes. But we know what happened in the story. He got embarrassed because when he tried to look most important, he ended up in a least important spot. That's what boasting does. It tries to look important. It doesn't care about honoring others. Instead, it looks to puff itself up. I'm the best. Me. You got it? Me. I want God's love to fill my heart, and love does not boast. But we only get that kind of love from Jesus, so now is a good time to pray. Boasting is not just saying you're good at something, we're all good at different things. But boasting is when you're stuck thinking more about yourself or what you're good at, more than caring about the people that are around you. So there's two things we can do to help us with this. First is we can pray, and the second thing is we can say kind things to others. So with your family, you can pray together for a loving heart instead of a boasting heart. And then you can each write one thing you think is cool or special about each person in your family. Thank you.
Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Help us to love just like you. Amen. Oh, hi, I'm Phoebe. I'm going to tell you a story about Jesus, and it's going to be so much fun. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Hi, this is an amazing banquet you have Ooh, here. I'm doing awesome. And I see there's only only a couple of spots left. There's that one way down there, and then and then there's this one here, yes. which must be for me because I'm really important and I deserve the best seat. I have um yeah, yes? This guy sits there. <laughs> you're, you're back there. What but <laughs> That that seat is for me. Yes. And th that guy sitting here. Yes. <laughs> in the seat of honor. Yes. So embarrassing. <laughs> oh, wow! What an amazing... Hi! Look at this amazing Ooh. banquet. Oh, I see there's only a couple of seats left, one way back there and one here. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to sit back over here okay. so that wait. I can leave that. Wait, wait, wait. What? You are the guest of honor. Uh, I'm the guest of honor? Yes. In the place of the guest yes. of honor? Yes. I'm your guest of honor? Oh, man. That's amazing. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hi, welcome here. Oh, and hello, how are you? That's our Bible story for today. And, and remember, don't always think about yourself. Think about other people. Well, hey guys, welcome to another wild adventure. I'm Wild Kyle, and today I've been on the lookout everywhere for a wild peacock. Those are those beautiful birds with those big, beautiful, colorful feathers. Have you seen one before? I've been looking everywhere and I have only come across some ducks. But what is that noise? It's my friends Alejandro and awesome Odette. But they seem to be fighting. Let's go see what's going on. Oh, I love it. This is the best guest ever in the world. My friends Alejandro, awesome Odette. Oh. Wow, Kyle! It's so good to see you guys! Guys, you look like you need some help. Oh, well, welcome! I got the best football ever! Red and black and beautiful! It is very nice. But you won't share it! I want it! You won't share it! Oh! Wow, guys, do you remember from last week, 1 Corinthians 13? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy, and it does not boast. That's so true. I boast and brag about my football. It's beautiful. I say all kind of things. Say all oh, how good it is and all that. Boast, boast, boast. I'm sorry for envying what you had, Awesome Odette. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm sorry, too. You know what? Would you guys like to come on my adventure with me? Yeah! I was looking for a wild peacock. <gasps> let's go! Yes, so let's, let's go! go. Let's, let's go! go. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 13. So we've talked about how love is patient and kind, it does not envy. I never get nothing. Lots of things I want, but everybody gets theirs first. Love does not boast. I'm better than you. Love does not boast. It doesn't get stuck on me, me, me. Love thinks about how others feel and says kind words to them. 
just like Jesus' parable, where the man took the best seat for himself rather than showing love and putting others first. I don't want a heart that is full of envy and boasting. I want God's heart of love that seeks to put others first. Thanks for joining us at Kids Church Online. I hope you've started to memorize 1 Corinthians 13 and putting it into practice. Remember to check the link on the screen for family resources. And we'll see you again next week at Kids Church Online. Sports.